All right, this week's stock pick, NVDA. Here's the daily chart, 100 day. You can kind of picture, I'm not the best at drawing lines with a mouse, but you can kind of picture a big old wedge pattern here. Um, gapped up yesterday, closed red, then today fairly strong again. And then here's a 15 minute. Let's go to, a, since you've seen the daily, let's go to a two day chart to show you what we're looking at. Okay, yesterday's high, um, 1813. Today's high, 1812. What we're looking at, um, the way we're going to play it, and I hate to be redundant, but as we always say, everything we say here assumes a normal open. In other words, fairly close to where it closed. It looks like it closed today at 1803. Let me bring up my drawing tool again. See, I put in this afternoon base on Thursday, and here's uh, Thursday's high, here's Wednesday's high. Okay, so above this base is what we're looking at for an entry. In other words, if it breaks this base, assuming an open somewhere near 18 um, on Friday, we're looking at a first catalyst of 1804. 1813 would be a break of uh, yesterday's high, so that's a secondary catalyst. So in other words, if it breaks this base, could get going higher. Could take out yesterday's high at 18.14 and then uh, back to the daily. You just have this one spike back here to 18.34. So we have 18, let me double check that, 18.34. You have 18.35 is another catalyst. Okay, so assuming a normal open, we have 18.04, 18.13. Hold on, give me one second here. There it is. 18.04. 1813 would be a break of yesterday's high, uh, Thursday's high, I'm sorry, and then 1835 would be a break of this recent high. So in other words, it could break out of this wedge pattern. Now, even if it doesn't happen, it just trades flat or whatever, um, Google's down big in after hours, so who knows. Uh, but this is worth watching tomorrow, and again, everything we do is based on intraday trading. In other words, what happens tomorrow, how the market opens, how NVIDIA opens. So that's why we'll follow up tomorrow night to show you whether or not we traded NVDA. And if we did, how we traded it, uh, how we called it in our live chat room, where the trigger, where the stop was. Hopefully you've been watching some of our videos uh, that we post on YouTube to kind of get a feel for what we do on an intraday basis. Had a great day today. Um, it looks like we have about almost 10 stocks on watch for tomorrow. Have some nice charts setting up. Um, we just randomly chosen NVIDIA. And just using a weekly real quick, which goes out three years, again, you can kind of see that this has the potential, even if it doesn't happen tomorrow, this has the potential uh, to break out nicely out of this base here and maybe break above this high one of these days. And this thing could make a run, you know, up through 20. So the chart looks pretty good, even the long-term chart, the short-term chart. Um, you know, market's over so overbought, sorry, right here. So we'll see. But... Um, please watch the follow-up video so you can kind of get a feel uh, for what we do on an intraday basis. Um, as always, we only trade with money we can afford to lose. Uh, our stops are always tight. I want to say usually a dime or less. Uh, I've never called a stop, um, I don't think, upwards of uh, 30 cents or more. So we only, you know, we're very patient. We wait for the low-risk setups. And um, if an intraday chart uh, has a nice setup but offers a stop, you know, uh, 40 cents below based on the candles, uh, we just won't take it. You know, there's plenty of trades setting up out there. So we're very selective. And um, again, we'll follow up tomorrow night. If you have any questions, you can shoot us an email. Uh, otherwise, look for the follow-up video and we'll talk to you later.